Will Eisner, born March 6, 1917, and died on January 3, 2005, was a one of kind genius, that rare figure of whom it can be said, comics and graphic novels, as we know them today, would not exist without. For many, he is considered the father of the graphic novel. He was one of the pioneers in the American comic book industry, proving himself a master of a variety of artistic, artistic and literary styles. His landmark comic series, The Spirit, which ran from 1940 to 1952 as a newspaper strip, was noted for its expressive artwork and breathtaking experiments in content and form. It was adapted for the screen by comics artist and screenwriter Frank Miller, who's best known for his Sin City comics. And I believe the film came out in 2008. In 1978, Will Eisner popularized the term graphic novel with the publication of his book, A Contract with God and Other Tenement Stories, which was then followed by three decades of extraordinary work, much of it examining topics in comics form that had never been dealt with in that medium. Some of it, like the works of Saul Bellow and Philip Roth, dealt with the Jewish American experience. His work also explored themes of love, death, loyalty, life in the big city, and more. And his works include humor and science fiction. Will Eisner was one of those rare practitioners who was adept at both the creative and business aspects of the medium. He owned most of the properties that he created and co-founded Eisner Liker, uh, I believe that's how we say it, one of the first comic shops where comic creators worked together. The list of well-known comic creators who passed through his shop en route to becoming comic professionals um, are extensive. They include Jack Kirby, who famously worked for Marvel for many years, Nick Carty, Mike Plug, and many others. And this image of um, Captain America punching Adolf Hitler uh, was, was drawn by Jack Kirby. Will Eisner pioneered yet another facet of comic art, its use as a highly effective instructional and educational tool. Drafted into the army during World War II, he, he combined image and text to, text to teach GIs about maintaining their equipment. The comic format proved to be more quickly and easily understood by the soldiers than the dry technical language of standard army manuals alone. He went on to use sequential art for instructional purposes by publishing PS Magazine for the Army and producing pamphlets for industry and government. He later championed its use in teaching children who reluctant readers. Eisner was also an early contributor to formal comic studies with his textbooks, Comics and Sequential Art, published in 1985, Graphic Storytelling and Visual Narrative, published in 1995, and Expressive Anatomy, published in 2005. He taught at New York School of Visual Arts for 20 years alongside other famous comic creators, such as Art Spielman. Eisner was an evangelist and goodwill ambassador for comics, burning with a passion to show and tell people that comics stood on equal footing with other storytelling media. As part of this, he lent his name to the prestigious Will Eisner Awards, the Oscars of the comics industry, presented each year at the world's foremost comics convention, San Diego's Comic-Con International. Will Eisner passed away in 2005 at the age of 87, having just completed The Plot, a work of nonfiction, which was another significant graphic novel achievement. With The Plot, Eisner hoped he could raise public consciousness of anti-Semitism throughout the world and draw attention to the nefarious ways in which governments use propaganda to influence public opinion. 2017 marked the centennial Will Eisner's birth and included the publication of the centennial edition of A Contract with God and two original art exhibitions traveling to museums and festivals across the US and Europe, along with the companion hardcover catalog, which is in our collection, called the Will Eisner, the Centennial Celebration, 1917 to 2017. 